What is a capacitor jump starter? Why is it different? How is it different from a regular lithium ion or lead acid battery jump starter? What makes it better? We're going to take a look at that. This is the Keen Power SC6000 and uh, I want to take we're going to take a look at this thing and we're going to review it. What what's very different about this from any other jump pack that I know of is that all jump packs are made of batteries and batteries are a chemical reaction that's what gives them their power your car battery alkaline batteries lead acid lithium ion there's a chemical reaction that gives power from the battery so as the battery gets colder it slows the chemical reaction different batteries behave differently but across the board they don't work as well when it gets cold so the same is true of your car battery as your jump pack and when your car battery which maybe was a little weak and now it's dead and it won't start the car because it's super cold out your jump pack isn't going to be as strong if it's cold so this is a capacitor capacitor is an electrical charge between two plates now the two plates are wrapped around and they're really thin and you know that's a different thing but the charge passes across the plates negative and positive and that's what gives you the power this will actually work better the colder it gets to a small degree but remember superconductors and absolute zero so this won't be affected by the cold and when it's the coldest and your battery needs to get a jump start that's where this really has an advantage over packs and the colder it is the bigger the advantage is so the other thing that's really amazing about this is that because it's a capacitor the way that it can charge if the battery is some dead and it won't start your car but there's still a charge in it you can actually charge this capacitor up off of your dead car battery and then use it to jump start it like that's amazing to me um, if it's all dead you have to charge it externally so I want to try this thing out uh, both ways so I'm gonna charge it externally and use it to jump start a dead battery on a Cummins diesel 67 and then we're also going to try to charge it off of the dead battery and start the truck from the dead battery that we charged it off of so the instructions on the, are right on the back of this thing it says attach clamps to your car battery paying attention to positive and negative the charging begins automatically and the power increases rapidly to 15 volts 100 percent charge on this even if the battery only has 10 volts or 11 volts um, even though only 5% power is enough to meet most vehicle starting needs, it is recommended to charge to 100%. Maybe if the battery is really dead, you can only get 60% charge, so we'll see how that works if that's the case. Press the power start button, and there's a 6 second countdown. So you have 6 seconds to get around, get ready, and then this will output a charge for 25 seconds. After the car engine starts successfully, the SC600 will charge automatically. So if the car starts, it'll recharge itself while it's sitting there attached to the battery. Let's try this thing out. All right, we've disconnected the passenger side battery and we installed a known bad battery on the driver's side. So I'm going to try to start it with no help just to make sure it's a bad battery. And it is indeed, it won't even try to start. All right, now we're gonna take our fully charged Keen Power 6,000 amp capacitive start battery and we're gonna hook it up.
and we're going to turn it on and I should get 25 seconds of power which should be enough to get the glow plugs warm and fire the thing up. enough power to fire the Cummins right up even after giving the glow plugs a little bit of time to warm up. Now I'm going to double check and make sure that the battery is still dead. battery is still dead. It won't try to start the truck at all. So I'm letting this charge up, but we tried to start the truck. The battery wouldn't try at all. We were able to jump start it with the capacitor and we let the glow plugs warm up maybe five seconds and then well it's a heater grid and then I tried to start the truck again with just the battery and it wouldn't even try still so now I'm charging the pack up off of the dead battery and we're gonna see if it can squeeze enough power out of this battery that won't even try to start the truck and use it to start the truck from this very battery. It says it's up to 76%, which I feel like that'll be enough power even if it stops charging at this point. The pack says it was able to charge itself to 100%, so I don't see why this won't start the truck but let's give it a shot. It's using the dead battery's power to push it back into the battery and start the truck. Let's try this out. Let's see if the battery has enough power to start the truck now that it's been uh, charged up by itself and started a couple times. still does not it won't even try so we took a look at this thing I am very impressed with the starting capacity of this it does say it's very beefy it's uh, you know large 6,000 amp capacity I don't know if it actually puts that out but it puts out enough to jump start a Cummins with a super dead battery with no problem like not even sweating it so I'm pretty impressed by this thing and I'm pretty impressed that it was able to do it using the dead battery for power. So I, I used, you can charge it from a USB port. That took considerably longer. I, I can't remember. I want to say it was like 10 or 20 minutes to charge it from the USB. Um, charging it from the dead battery was about three and a half minutes. And charging it from a good battery was quicker than that. I don't remember the time, but it was... It, probably half, maybe even less than that in terms of uh, getting this thing charged up if you hook it directly to a charged battery. So overall, very impressed with it, very happy with the use of it, and uh, I'd like to actually test it on something even bigger because I was 
pleasantly surprised. This thing s started that up, no troubles. I think it was right around freezing out. So we, we, ha we don't have the 40 degree below zero weather yet to try it out, but when we do, I'll put something up about it.